Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the Meta Pets token using Trust Wallet and Pancake Swap. I'm going to be showing you step by step everything that you have to do in order to get this token. But before we get started here, I just want to remind everyone that I do have daily cryptocurrency content on this channel. So if you guys are interested in crypto and you want to learn more about the space, I'd really recommend subscribing. Uh, anyhow, to get started with this video here, we're just going to open up our Trust Wallet. And once we're in our Trust Wallet here, I'm just going to remind everyone that I'm not going to show you how to create your Trust Wallet in this video. And I'm also not going to show you how to buy or transfer BNB into your Trust Wallet in this video. If you need to learn how to do either of those two things, I'll have separate tutorials linked in the description and in the comment section down below. So just go ahead and watch those if you need to, then come back to this video if you're interested in purchasing this token. Now, once you have your BNB inside of your Trust Wallet, you're going to want to make sure that's in your Smart Chain Wallet. So let's just say, for example, it's in your BNB Wallet right here. You want to just go ahead and click on BNB. Click on swap and then right at the bottom here you see swap to smart chain you do have to transfer the appropriate amount into that wallet or else you will not see the balance on pancake swap so that's very important that you have that done but once you have your bnb inside of your smart chain wallet all we have to do is get the contract address for this token so i'll have a link over to coin market cap in the description as well as in the comment section down below so if you guys need to go get the contract address you have to go grab it from there so just head over to that link and i'll show you guys what to do next and once you're on CoinMarketCap here, we just want to go down to where we see contracts. All the way over to the right, you'll see two little squares. Just go ahead and click on those two little squares to copy the address. Then we can head right back into our Trust Wallet. Once we're back in our Trust Wallet here, we just want to go to the top right corner of our screen where we see the two lines and two circles. Go ahead and click on that. Then we can go to the top search here and just paste in the contact address. Now all we have to do is enable the token and then click on Done. Now, once you have a spot for your token inside of your wallet, all we have to do now is head over to the exchange. So I'll have a link over to PancakeSwap in the description as well as in the comment section down below. So just go ahead over to PancakeSwap and then I'll show you guys what to do once you're on there. And once you're on PancakeSwap here, we just want to connect our wallet. So we're just going to go to the top right corner of the screen where we see the connect wallet button and click on connect wallet. We can then click on wallet connect. Then right here, it's going to show us a bunch of different wallets. Now, you can use any one of these wallets if you'd like to, but in this video, I'm going to be showing you with Trust Wallet. So we can just go ahead and click on Trust Wallet. It's then going to pop up a connection screen inside of our Trust Wallet. So we'll just give this a moment, and then it'll pop up the connection screen. Once we get the connection screen here, we can just go ahead and click on Connect, and then, then head right back into our, our PancakeSwap. Sorry. And once we're back in PancakeSwap, we'll know our wallet's connected when we see our wallet address or our wallet icon up in the top right corner, as well as our balance of BNB right beside BNB right here. Now, all we have to do is add the address in for the token. So we're just going to click on where it says cake, where you see that little arrow pointing down. Once you click on that, we can paste in the same address that we got from CoinMarketCap right up in this section here. And then the token will pop up. So we just click on import, I understand, and then import. Now, once we have both tokens in here ready to go, all we have to do is change the slippage tolerance. So if we just go beside swap, we'll see this little Sangs gear here. You want to go ahead and click on that. And then under swaps and liquidity, you'll see slippage tolerance. Now your slippage tolerance will always change depending on the liquidity of the token at the time. So it can go up, it can go down. Typically, I recommend using 12% for majority of these tokens. But for whatever reason, if you do not get it to go through, it gives you some kind of error. You might have to try a little bit higher. Like I said, it totally depends on the liquidity. But I recommend starting off with 12 Anyhow, once you have your slippage tolerance in here, you can go ahead and click on the X button at the top to exit out. And then all we have to do is decide how much BNB we want to transfer into this token. So let's just say, for example, I was going to do 1 BNB. I can type in 1 BNB, and then it will show me the amount of this token I'll get in exchange for my 1 BNB. Now, if you're happy and comfortable with that amount, you can go down to where you see insufficient BNB balance on my screen. For you, it's going to say swap. You just want to click on swap, and then once you click on that, it's going to show you a broken down version of your transaction showing you your fees and things like that that's involved. So just make sure that you guys read that and you understand that and you're comfortable with it before you go ahead with the next step. But once you see that and you're happy, you can go ahead and click on swap one more time. Once you click on swap one more time, it's going to open up another screen inside of your trust wallet, just asking you to confirm the transaction. So just make sure you guys read that and you're happy and comfortable with that as well. If you're okay with it, you can go ahead and click on confirm. And once you click on confirm, it should give you a check mark inside of your pancake swap exchange. Once you receive that check mark, you can then exit right out of here, right back into your trust wallet, and the token will arrive here usually within a couple minutes. Anyhow, I really hope I was able to help you guys out, showing you guys how to buy this token using trust wallet and pancake swap. If this video did help you out, be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching.